Namaskar, I am Sabha Sharma, student of Bachelor's in Journalism and Mass Communication. Today we have Professor Jitendra Binwal, Dean, School of Liberal Arts and Sciences in Modi University of Science and Technology and Dr. Sunidhi Mishra, Assistant Professor in Food and Nutrition. Sir, can you tell us something about Modi University? Modi University of Science and Technology was established in the year 1998 by our Honorable Chairman Sri Rajendra Prasad Modi Ji, a true visionary and philanthropist. In Modi University of Science and Technology, we are running different programs in the different domains liberal arts, sciences, engineering and technology, management, law, architecture and design. Apart from this, we have a sister concern, Modi School. Sir, can you tell us uh, about different streams we have in Modi University? In School of Liberal Arts and Sciences, we are running undergraduate, postgraduate and PhD programs and our all undergraduate programs are as per the new education policy 2020-20. At undergraduate level programs, we have different programs in the field of uh, liberal arts that is English, Sanskrit, political science, geography, history, French and many more. And in sciences, we are running the different programs regarding physical sciences, physics, chemistry, mathematics, life sciences, biotechnology, psychology, food and nutrition and forensic science. As well as, in this year, we are introducing a new program that is the data science. Great, sir. And sir. at PG levels, we have different streams uh, related to liberal arts and sciences. And in PhD program, we are covering all the uh, domains of uh, arts and sciences with respect to cutting as research at present scenario in the society. So can you tell us the difference between Modi University and other universities? That is a very interesting question. Modi University of Science and Technology is uh, one of the best women university exclusively for women at national and international level. And why it is different, why it is best in compared to other university? First, it is safe and secure university for women. Its infrastructure is at world class level and our ultimate aim of Modi University of Science and Technology is our vision of our Honorable Chairman Sir. What is vision? Vision is very simple to be a world class university of learning for women with dedicated to Indian values through the best facilities in a maximum possible field from its inception. That, that vision max, this university is entirely different at national and international levels. Our ultimate aim of School of Liberal Arts and Sciences as well as Modi University of Science and Technology is complete holistic spiritual development of a child. And this aim is incorporated as per the new education policy 2020-20 from education to employability as well as academic progression. That is one of the most important USP of the SLES Modi University of Science and Technology. Thank you, sir. Sir, if someone is willing to take admission in Modi University, so what is the procedure? Yes, the procedure is very user-friendly procedure. If uh, someone, suppose I want to take admission in Modi University of Science and Technology as well as Modi School or any segment in Modi University of Science and Technology, I just go its website that is www.modiuniversity.sc.in. There is a segment regarding the admission. I just fill the some uh, inquiries. Just put your name, enroll, uh, put your name, mobile number, and in which school and stream you are interested. Just fill the information. And within few hours, you can you can guided or assisted by our exclusively uh, admission department and concern school and concern person, and they will assist you regarding the admission process. And you give uh, you can get all the information and all the guidance 
uh, regarding your admission inquiry from the concern department. So ma'am, as an assistant professor of food and nutrition, uh, can you tell us about the different programs you have in food and nutrition? Uh, basically, we have UG, PG and PhD programs. Under that, we are providing the, as sir said that, we have already implemented the NEP. So our graduation degree is based on the four year BSc in food and nutrition. So according to that, the student can take 12th pass out student. As well as we have master's degree in food and nutrition and PhD is also here. So if anyone is interested to take admission in PhD, then uh, she or he can also take the admission in PhD. Graduation students and post-graduation students should be female as this is the university. Okay. Yes. So and what is the scope in food and nutrition? Yes, so it is a one of the demanding subject in this era actually and if uh, even after the COVID as we are many of us uh, conscious about our health, so it is one of the demanding. Uh, students who have completed their degree, so every stage is students have opportunity to take the jobs or their own startup such as after completion of BSc, a student can uh, take the jobs in the different multinational companies, different food industries such as your different and uh, even though after completion of the MSc, a student can uh, give the examination of RD, registered dietitian and thereafter they can join as a nutritionist dietitians in various hospitals, reputed hospitals, even though some government hospitals also have dietitian in their hospitals. So according to the qualification experience, they can apply over there and become a dietitian and nutritionist in the hospitals as well as different industries, NGOs and multinational companies are also hiring the nutritionist. And after if you are not interested in nutritionist or dietitian job, you can go for the different uh, manager post and uh, different industrial sector uh, wherever food is applicable. So you can do a job there. So that is one of the good options. Ma'am, what if someone is not interested in job, like they want to start their startup or entrepreneurship? So what is the procedure or how they can start? Yeah, in this era, actually we are talking about the entrepreneurship or a startup. So moreover, students or individuals have not as such interest in the job. So many of us interested or show our interest towards the entrepreneur or startup. So as you have already aware about that there are many entrepreneurs and there are many startups are uh, in a recent, uh, you have uh, definitely listened about that uh, Tech Pani Puri or MBA Chai Wala. These are the actually uh, food startups. So students can according to their interest, uh, they can start their own cafe, restaurants or hotels, whatever they want to be start. And if they are interested in R&D sector, like research and development, so according to that, they can also start their own startups or entrepreneurship business. And what are the key features of PLUS and program? Uh, in our program, basically, uh, we have uh, well-established laboratories, okay, so we have research laboratory, we have central laboratories, we have a dietetics laboratory, along with that, we have also a diet counseling cell, where the students can uh, exactly practice how to counsel the patient, how to treat with patient, and in our campus, we have also our own uh, mess uh, and cafeteria. So, student can also uh, have experience how to prepare food for a larger number of people or cafeteria, they can experience the restaurant style pattern. So, it is very helpful in the startup or being uh, becoming an entrepreneur uh, as a food and nutrition student. Thank you so much, sir and ma'am, for giving your precious time. This conversation and guidance will be beneficial for the students who want to pursue their career in humanities, arts and sciences. Very soon, we will be back with different opportunities in different fields. Thank you.